Assalamu alaikum, hi there, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to solve Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Paper 3 Code 0580 Variant 3 to May June 2020 Part 3. Question number 8. Describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. This is a three mark question. Whenever it is a three mark question, it will either be rotation or enlargement. So this is clearly that it has been rotated. You need to write three things for rotation. You need to write rotation, you get your one mark. You need to write the center. Normally for core one and three, uh, paper one and three, the center is zero, zero. And then we need to write the center, uh, the degree of rotation. You need to use a tracing paper for that. Draw shape A, make axis like this, and rotate it one time till you find that it is placed on B. You will rotate it only once and it will be placed on B. So therefore, the degree of rotation is 90 degrees but we moved it anti-clockwise. You need to write that also. So each point will give you one mark. Next, we have triangle A unto C. This is a two mark. Two mark is normally reflection or translation. This shape has been shifted to come to C. That means it is translation. You get one mark for this and one mark for writing the translation in column vector. When we write in column vector, the top number represents the change in our x. If it moves to the right, the x will be positive. If it moves to the left, the x will be negative. If the shift is upwards, your y will be positive. If the shift is downwards, the y will be negative. Choose one point. I'm choosing this point here and I will see how it reached here. So we moved one, two, always the X first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six to the left. So that will give us negative six and one, two, three to the down. So negative three. Now A3 triangle A unto D. The size is, this is small, this is big. So we know clearly it is an enlargement. You get one mark for this. One mark for the scale factor. Scale factor is easy. Take any one side. I'm choosing this side and the corresponding size in triangle D is here. A was one, now it became three. So scale, it is multiplied by 3. So scale factor is 3. Now the only thing we need to find is the center for the last mark. For finding the center, we will join the corresponding points. This what is with this. This with this. And this with this. And see where they meet. All the three vertices, they meet at this point here. So we write the x value first, which is 6. And then the y value, which is 4. So center is 6, 4. Now on the grid, draw the image of triangle A. After the reflection in the line, y is equal to negative 1. y is equal to negative 1 is... Here, so we draw a mirror line and we reflect the triangle from the mirror line just count the points that the vertices are away so one two and then there are three squares here one down this is our B answer reflection is usually very easy to draw question number nine a Complete the value of, complete the table of values for y is equal to x square minus 3x minus 6. We just replace the x value in the calculator. Just be careful. Like if you have uh, negative 3, don't write like this. Put in a bracket and write. 
your value and you will get the answer. Negative 3 we already have, so negative 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. In the same manner, replace it for a very easy 3 mark. And these are the values that we will get. Part B. On the grid, draw the graph of y is equal to x square minus 3x minus 3 for negative 3 and 6, the values from negative 3 and 6. We already have our y values. We just have to plot them now. So we start with negative 3 when x is negative 3. These are your x values. These are the corresponding y values. When x is negative 3, y is 12. When x is negative 2, y is 4. So you understand how to do that? This is the way you plot it. And now you have to join the points and make it into a curve. Remember, it should be this shape and uh, not like a V like this. Also, don't join this point and make a straight line. It has to be a U shape. Now, part C. Write down the equation of the line of symmetry of the graph. That is this point here, the x value of this point. It cuts the x-axis when x is 1.5. So that is our line of symmetry. Line of symmetry is always x is equal to something. Now part D. Use your graph to solve the equation x squared minus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0. When we have equal to 0, we have to look at the x-axis and see where it cuts the x-axis for which value of x. So here we have negative 1.4. x is equal to negative 1.4 because each line is representing 0 0.2 and this is 4.2. Your answer can be anything between negative 1.4 to 4.4 and that will be okay. You just needed to realize that each point here represents 0 0.2. Question number 10a. Solve these equations. 5x is equal to negative 30. 5x means 5 multiplied by x. So when we shift to the other side, the multiply turns into divide. So negative 30 divided by 5 is negative 6. You can use your calculator for this. And for the next question, 4x minus 2 is equal to 28. The negative 2, when we shift to the other side, will become positive 2. 4x is equal to 30. x is equal to 30 divided by 4, which will give you 7.5 as the answer. If you have a calculator that gives you the answer in fraction, so suppose you got 15 over 2. When you put 30 over 4, you will get 15 over 2. Before the delete button, there's this SD. You press this to convert it into a mixed fraction or a decimal. When you do that, you will get 7.5. Now we have 3 multiplied by 2 bracket 2x plus 7 is equal to 12. There are two ways to solve it. You can expand the bracket if you find that easy. 3 times 2, 6x. 3 times 7, 21. Shift the 21 to the other side. Remember the sign changes. You will get negative 9. So x is equal to negative 9 divided by 6. And you will get negative 1.5. Again, if you have a fraction, press the... SD button and it will turn into a decimal negative 1.5. Question number B. Solve the simultaneous equation. You must show all your working. We always have a simultaneous equation question mostly. So you need to be very good at it. Now look at the coefficient of x and the coefficient of y. They are not same. If they are not same, you will have to make them same before you continue. Then you need to keep in mind that if your coefficient are both the same signs, don't use them. Use the ones with the different sign. It's always easier. So what is the coefficient of y? 3. We'll multiply the whole uh, first equation by 3. And we will get 
15x minus 6y is equal to 132. The down equation will multiply by 2. No need to put negative 2. So 2 multiplied by 2, 4x plus 6y is equal to 2 multiplied by 10, 20. Now we have to add them. 15 plus 4 is 19x. Negative 6 plus 6 will give us 0. 132 plus 20 is 152. Use the calculator. This is a multiply. When we shift to the other side, it's a divide. 152 divided by 19 will give us 8. So our x is 8. To find y, substitute x is equal to 8 in whichever equation you want. I'll substitute in the first one. So 5 multiplied by 8 minus 2y is equal to 44. We'll get 40 minus 2y is equal to 44. Negative 2y is equal to 44 minus 40. We'll get 4. So y is going to be 4 divided by negative 2, which is negative 2. y is equal to negative 2. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Do not forget to like the video and leave your feedback in the comment section. Thank you for watching.